Hi there, today we're going to be reviewing the Home Trends 10 foot by 8 foot sling top pergola from Walmart. The company that makes this pergola is Yotrent, if I'm saying that right. In this video, we will show you step by step instructions on how to put it together. This pergola will give you some great shade in a hot backyard, setting it up on ground or on a deck. We are setting ours up on the top deck to create some shade as it gets very hot in the summer. So let's get started. So this pergola is called Home Trends, 10 foot by 8 foot sling top pergola. We ordered this pergola online from Walmart. The company that had delivered this from Walmart, they were a week late and when we received the package it was damaged. In the end, the only parts missing were a few screws out of the package. We contacted the company and Walmart, but still not heard back from them. I will keep you posted in the information if we do hear back from them. In the end, even though we were missing a few screws, we still really love this pergola. So let's get started unboxing this package to make sure all parts are there. And if you're new to this channel, subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified for all new videos. Here are all the parts that you should have in this box. We will lay them all out and find out. As you can see, unfortunately, this is how it had arrived. The package of screws was already open. Counting all parts and making sure the rest is all there. Once that's done, we can start our first step. Matching the letters and numbers to put the right parts together. We're going to start off with the legs. And it's a smart idea to do it on a cloudy day, so you don't burn yourself or get too hot. So here is our top deck, where we will be putting our shade. Here are the tools that we will be using that were not provided. And as we don't have any tools for the power drill yet, we'll be using these. So going along, you will see these stickers indicating what parts they are and which ones to use. We will demonstrate on each of the parts on how they're put together and how many parts there are. With this part, there are four legs, so you have to do this times four. So the next step is the side beams. You will have two of these to put together. These are the beams that have a bit of a bend, so you want to make sure the bends are the same direction. First off, using your eyepiece, slide it onto the pole. Lining up all of the holes so you can screw it together. Just putting in one screw so it's easier to push together and then you can continue putting in the rest of the screws. Once the first one's done, you have one more to do. And here are both of the bars done. 
time for step three. If you've noticed, step one was A, step two was B, and now we're on to step C, matching the stickers to the chart instructions. You will have two of these poles to put together for the top frame of your pergola, making sure both ends are the same direction. Step four. Now it's time to work on the crossbars going across the top of the pergola to hold up your sling canopy. You will have five of these to put together. Here they are all put together. Step 5. Now to start putting the top frame of the pergola together using the B bar and C bar with the end bracket and the double D screw. Time to move to the top deck, having our pieces all laid out. Screwing it together with your double D screw, having the bracket on the outside of your pole. Making sure the pointy end is on the top. Make sure before you screw everything together, these screw holes are on the inside of your frame and not the outside. We noticed we made this mistake after screwing the whole top together. On to step six. Time to screw on the crossbars. And now that we have the bars the right way and on the inside of the pergola, we can continue. We also quickly ran to the hardware store to pick up some drill parts to make it easier to put our pergola together. We wish we would have had this from the start. Once all four corners are drilled back down, we can start putting on the crossbars. And now all the crossbars are on, it's time to put on the legs. Step 7. This is the part that gets more tricky. You can do it with two people, but it's ideal to have three or four people to help. Step 8. Screwing the bracket down on the top rail to connect the rails and the leg pole. Do the same to the other three corners.
Step 9. Time to put on the support bars. Now unfortunately, this is where we're missing the screws. So I'm hoping the company will get back to us and send us the rest of the parts. Until then, we will just use what we have. This is how it should look when you have all your screws to finish supporting the section. Step 10 is securing your pergola to the ground or to any surface that you have it standing on. This pergola comes with pegs to stick into the ground, but we just purchased some screws to screw it right to our deck, as the pergola feet has four holes on the bottom of the foot to hold the pergola down. Step 11, time to put the fabric hangers together. You will have two of these poles to connect together with an easy snap bar. This will be pushed through the sling canopy ends. Time to drape it over the pergola. We will be weaving it through the bars for extra support because of the wind, and also because we're not concerned to move the shade from side to side. If you want to be able to pull your shade from side to side, up and down, do not weave your pergola. Just lay it across the top of your pergola, as it shows in the instructions. Step 14. Time to put on your left and right corner lock, sliding it into your fabric hanger. Now going back to step 13, just showing you that there's a center seam. And as you can see, it's giving some shade and providing some privacy with also some view through it. Time to install the side gliding rails. This helps providing the sliding of your shade to move back and forth, holding your shade in place. These pieces are made out of plastic. This is my opinion, but I think that they should have been made out of metal because plastic breaks easier. Looking at some of the reviews online, people have had issues with these plastic pieces breaking. So you have eight of these pieces to install with the poles on each side of the pole, on both sides of the pergola. Don't forget to put your slide lock on the pole before attaching it.
and there you are. Your pergola is up, done, and ready to enjoy, giving you some shade and privacy. It has a comforting feeling and makes a great spot for visiting with friends and family or just enjoy some quality time on your deck all summer long. Here's a closer look on how we weave the shade. I also read on the reviews that these little plastic locking tabs also come apart very easily and break. So I just took a zip tie and fastened it down as I'm not moving the shade. This should keep it in place better on those windy days. I hope this video was helpful for you on understanding the putting together of this pergola and how it looks. Would I purchase this pergola again? So far, yes. We have had it up for at least a week and have had some stronger winds. Using these ties did work, keeping the shade from moving. It also helped by weaving the shade. The crossbars on top are also very handy to hang plants or anything you'd like to hang. Remember to subscribe to this channel as I will be getting some solar lights in soon and stringing them across this pergola. At some point I may also get some side shade curtains to keep out the bugs in the evening. I will link these videos once I have them up. Here is the before photo and here is the after video of when the pergola is up. If you're looking to purchase this pergola, we bought ours at Walmart. You may also be able to find this online somewhere. So thanks for watching my video and I hope to see you around. Check out my playlist for all other videos. Remember to give it a thumbs up if you've made it this far in the video and if you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.